and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Kelly thank you so much for clicking on today's video I'm so happy to have you here today as you can see by the title I'm gonna be doing my March favorites I've been loving some really amazing things for the month of March so I wanted to share them with you guys so if you do want to see what I've been loving then just keep watching so I'm going to start with the beauty category first. I think that that's kind of like a nice way to dive in because I have been loving quite a few beauty pieces recently. So I thought I would start with that. So I'll start with some makeup pieces that I've been loving so far. So the first thing that I wanted to show you is this roll-on eyeshadow and this is by Bella Pierre. I think that's how you say it and it's their shimmer roll-on eyeshadow. It is so fantastic. It is literally just a one-stop shop for everything that you need to have a really nice kind of like neutral eye look. Obviously you can get them in so many different shades, but I like kind of like a nice coppery brown shimmer shade on my lid. All that I do is I just roll it on to my eyelid and then I just kind of like blend out the edges with a brush and I have an amazing eyeshadow look really really quickly i don't have to do like this five step process it's really quick and easy which is exactly what i want in my life especially having a toddler i need to have everything quick and easy and accessible to me and so this has made my makeup game so much better and i can get ready so so quickly now probably under 10 minutes i can get my makeup done so i've really been loving this Another makeup piece that I've absolutely fallen in love with. This came in a glossy box and I think it was February's glossy box. So this is the BFF Brow Friends Forever with castor oil and vitamin E and this is by The Beauty Crop. This is the best eyebrow gel that I've used so far. This honestly is like super glue for your brows. It is so, so good, but it's really easy to take off. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, I'll come in a little bit closer, but it just really sets your eyebrows so perfectly. The wand is a really nice size and I just find that my brows stay up all day. I probably did this makeup at about 7 a.m. this morning and it's currently I think around 4 p.m. now and so it's lasted all day. I don't have to reapply. They're completely fixed in place which I absolutely love. I don't like having to redo things to my face so this is just an absolute essential in my makeup bag now. I actually stopped using the other brow gel that I was using before and replaced it for this because this is just 20 out of 10, so, so good. Another thing that I've been loving recently is this glow stick by Collection. I'm kind of going for like a more summer glowy vibe with my makeup these days. Obviously the weather's transitioning and I don't wanna have like matte makeup on my face. I want a little bit of sheen, shimmer. I wanna have that kind of like natural glow look. And this is really nice for setting on top of my cheekbones just to kind of like emphasize that area and make it nice and glowy. And this is their gorgeous glow so it just looks like this and it's a really beautiful kind of like muted champagne color and it's ever so subtle but when the light catches you I haven't actually got it on today but when the light catches it it is so so stunning so I just pop it on the high points of my cheeks and then just a little bit on the tip of my nose and then also sometimes like down the I don't do it down the center I do it kind of like more towards the side of my nose so it that's kind of like where I get shiny naturally I like to follow where I actually get natural shine so it looks more natural. This is definitely going to be a spring and summer staple in my makeup bag. And then last makeup piece, this is the Arbonne Mascara. I've tried so, 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 so many mascaras and I always go back to Arbonne. My sister-in-law actually distributes for them and so every time I have like a birthday or if it's Christmas, anytime I get something gifted from her, it's always Arbonne. First off, they have this muted milky baby pink packaging, which is so, so cute. But it's just the best formula and it's the best wand I've ever used. It makes my lashes, honestly, like five times as long as they are naturally without anything. They are so, so long and thick and voluminous when I use this. I haven't actually got this mascara on today. I've got the Sky High one by, is it Maybelline? Yeah, the Maybelline Sky High. That one is okay. Uh, I heard like really good reviews and I was going to do like an Instagram reel about it and um, kind of like show my results but I actually wasn't blown away by my results so I never shared it because for me that didn't really do anything for me. This does so much. So I'll show you the wand. It's the perfect thickness for me and it's a solid one so it's not bendy like the Maybelline Sky High one. That one's kind of like too flexible for me so it's not got enough firmness to it so that it actually like pulls through my lashes. Sometimes it like bends against my lashes. Whereas this is absolutely incredible. And I don't know what they put in this, but the formula of it is, ooh. 
and you don't get spidery clumpy cakey lashes like you do with other mascaras this one is just a game changer so I definitely suggest picking this up if you haven't tried this already. My favourite lipstick that I've been using pretty much for the entire month of March, I think most of my videos filmed in this month have been wearing this lipstick. This is the Charlotte Tilbury English Beauty lipstick and it's just my favourite. It's so gorgeous. It's like a brownie, mauvey, pink kind of colour and I love this so much that I actually have two in my collection. And it just looks like this. And it's just such a gorgeous colour. I've actually got it on my lips today. And yeah, if you go back and see my videos throughout the month of March, you will see that I've worn the same lipstick for pretty much the entire month because it's just beautiful. And I find it kind of works really well with my skin tone. Some can kind of wash me out a little bit, but this I've been absolutely loving. So next I will move on to like beauty and skincare kind of thing. So one thing that I've been loving so far is this shower foam so this is tasty donut and it's their creamy shower foam and it smells like donuts it is so incredible oh my goodness the smell is just so delicious and it literally just comes out like that like a foam and i just think anything to kind of like make your shower experience more enjoyable why not and it actually when you get it out of the can it actually smells even stronger. This has also been really good for like when I want to shave my legs, I'd rather use this than soap. So yeah, I've been loving this. Then moving on, this is my wild deodorant. I absolutely love this and I will never go back to a traditional deodorant again. I actually was standing in line behind a woman a few days ago now and she was buying a deodorant that I used to buy and I was literally just like, if only you knew how harmful those ingredients are that are in that. But to each his own. I mean, I was completely clueless for a really, really long time. But this is the Wild Deodorant, and I absolutely love the ethos around this brand. So basically, there are so, so, so many nasties potentially in your deodorant. So there could be all sorts of different chemicals, aluminium and things like that, that are just really not good for you. And some things can be well, I mean, I'll let you do the research rather than me giving you a lecture of, you know, it's got this and this and da 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 da. So, I obviously wanted a more clean deodorant and this is completely natural. And the thing that I love about it as well is that you buy the container. So, I chose purple. You can choose multiple colours. There are so many to choose from. So, you basically just push these two buttons at the side and then when you pull this down, there is a cartridge that you pop on and then when you put that back in, you then have your deodorant. Obviously, it's used, so excuse that it, it's not like the cleanest it could be. But the scent of it is really amazing as well. They've got loads of different scents that you can choose from. And so you can you can choose a tailored subscription depending on your needs, how much you think that you're gonna want. And so I think I went for the one where you get a refill every three months, I think. So I think that this will last me a good three months. If it doesn't last me, then I can always just buy another refill. That's not a problem whatsoever. Um, but you obviously have the case for a really long time. And so you can just keep using their refills. And the thing that I love about their refills as well is they are completely compostable and I just think it's a great brand. So I'm really, really happy that I've decided to switch over to a more ethically sourced and safer deodorant. Next up, I've got a gradual tanner. So this is the Dove Nourishing Body Care and this is their Visible Glow Self Tan Lotion. I really, really like this. It does definitely give you like a subtle tan and it doesn't have that horrible fake tan smell. So if I'm not going to do like a full fake tan and I just want to maybe moisturize after a bath or a shower, but I want a little bit of color, then I will reach for this. I also find that I'm not very streaky when I use this either. And I think it's a really great product, especially now I've been whipping this out recently, especially trying to get a little bit of color on my legs because they are pasty. So yeah, this is definitely going to be an essential for the next few months. Then this is a new love of mine. I've only had this about a week, but I've been really enjoying using it so far. This is the Garnier Organic Rose Glow 3-in-1 Youth Cream. So it nourishes and it firms and gives you a glow. So it does have vitamin C, which is what I was actually looking for. When I went into Superdrug, I was looking for another vitamin C serum. But then I saw that this includes vitamin C and I was just really intrigued by this if I'm being completely honest So it says say goodbye to dull skin and hello to skin that glows 
This three-in-one cream leaves skin nourished, firm, and enhances glow in just one week. So this is what it looks like out of the box. I think it feels really nice on the skin. So it looks like this. As you can see, it has got like a rosy tint to it, and it definitely does show on the face. So I love this too because it is organic and vegan. And the first time that I used it, I was a little bit like, Ooh, because it does give you kind of like a glowy tint to your face. Like there is kind of like a red tint to your face as you're applying the product but then it does definitely blend in with your skin and looks a lot more natural and it just kind of gives you like a little bit of color to your face so you actually look like a lot more alive and awake without any makeup on your face whatsoever so this i've been really enjoying recently next up is a fragrance favorite so this is c by giorgio armani this was actually gifted to me by my dad's fiance and i'm so 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 glad that she did gift it to me i didn't even smell it when i got gifted it i just took it because i mean i don't really buy perfumes myself that often um that's kind of like one thing that i don't really like to buy for myself i love getting them as gifts but for some reason it's like something that i feel like i begrudge spending my money on i have no idea why i buy so many handbags but when it comes to fragrances i just I don't know I just can't seem to part with my money I just have no idea why but this is an incredible smelling perfume it is so so gorgeous and I've been wearing this non-stop for the past month since I actually like bit the bullet and smelt it because as soon as I did I was absolutely blown away this is such a sexy fragrance it honestly smells beautiful and like i say i've been using it non-stop for the past month and it doesn't really look like i've made much of a dent in it so i'm glad about that because this is definitely going to be like my spring summer scent i think so i'm really looking forward to continuing using this i guess it's kind of sticking with like beauty ish um but i didn't really know what category to place these in and it is empty i just wanted to show you the box because i've already worn these but my favorite brand of press on nails at the moment apart from kiss because kiss do really good press on nails but it's finishing touches these are so affordable and they're sold in i think you can get them in boots but i mostly get them from Superdrug, and i think they're about four pounds for press on nails that is absolutely ridiculous and if you head on over to my instagram page my handle will actually be well i'll pop it on the screen and it'll also be linked down in the description box below so i would definitely suggest going and checking out my feed because any picture pretty much where i have like this type of red nails it is these press-ons and they look so so good and they actually look really natural i was blown away by the quality of them they are just really amazing press-on nails and i honestly used to stock up on them so much i used to buy them like packs and packs at a time and for a little bit of time the super drug that i actually go to in the town that i live they completely ran out of this kind of like brick red color and so they only had like black and gray and i think like a really vibrant fuchsia kind of pink which obviously isn't my style this is definitely my favorite by far but i also do love the black ones as well and it's just so easy for well not just mums but anyone really but for me as a mum sometimes i don't have time to sit and do my nails really really well like I, for anyone that doesn't know I do my own gel nails sometimes I do extensions and sometimes I don't have time to do that so this is just nice if like I've got something that I want to go to like an event or if I just want to have nice sticky nails but I just don't have the time I can just pop on some press on nails and I feel really put together so I don't know about anybody else but for me my biggest thing is I could have no makeup greasy hair and be wearing sweat if my nails are done i feel more put together so i always like to have my nails looking as nice as possible so this is definitely a game changer in my nail game and i've been loving these probably for a good mm, maybe six months actually so i needed to include them in this video so that they could make their debut and then i've got two hair accessories so the first thing that i've been absolutely loving is invisible balls i cannot believe how late that i was to this trend but invisible balls are incredible they keep my hair in place much more than a regular hair tie another thing as well is how easy they are to pull out your hair there's no snagging it doesn't pull my hair out and i just think that they're absolutely amazing i used to like worry that they kind of wouldn't keep their shape if you stretch them out like this or use them in your hair but they do and i just think that they're much more sanitary as well to use than a regular hair tie so i've been absolutely loving these and then another hair accessory and i only have one to show you because my son broke one 
a few days ago and I broke the other one maybe yesterday and I'm so sad about it because the other two were actually my favourite colours so it came in a three pack of this exact style hair clip so these really cute claw clips they're from Shein and you get a blue one a pastel lilac -y one and a white one and they're just so cute really inexpensive as well so I actually think I'm going to order some more when I get another Shein order but I'm not sure when that's going to be but I just think that they are perfect for this time of year and they're just so cute they kind of like remind me of the 90s early 2000s kind of trends you know where like people used to have those butterfly clips and stuff like that I remember when I was kind of like a preteen I would wear things like that as well and this is just kind of like a little bit more of a grown-up way to kind of follow that trend that's kind of come back into to fashion and it's obviously a really nice nod to spring and summer so I've been loving these then you would have seen it in the background because I completely forgot to pull it out of you when I was setting up to film this video. But it is this bamboo makeup brush holder. I absolutely love this. I love the quality of it. It's really thick and really pretty and I love the colour of the wood. I just think that it goes so, so well with the next thing that I will show you. And I'm going to try not to blind you. I'm going to try and... I'm going to try and hold it up at an angle so that it doesn't like blind you and you see my lights. But basically I've just got this really nice bamboo mirror as well so i'm gonna pop it down now because like i said i don't want to blind you but they match perfectly and they're both from home bargains really inexpensive i think the mirror was like five pounds this was maybe like two pounds or three pounds i'm not really quite sure but i just think that they've been looking really good together i picked the mirror up within the last month this i picked up some time ago and like I say they just go perfectly together it just has really elevated my makeup game by like having my makeup station kind of like matchy matchy so I've definitely been loving these okay so I'm now going to move on to fashion and accessories so the first thing that I've been absolutely loving is my Samsung watch I'm showing it to you like this because it was actually just on charge a second ago because it was out of battery so this is my Samsung Galaxy watch and I really love this I've been using it to track my sleep and it's just been so interesting to kind of like find out my sleeping pattern I've learned that I don't really have a lot of deep sleep I've learned that I have a lot of light sleep and I wake up a heck of a lot in the night but I already knew that anyway because well I mean I'm waking up so I also like this to kind of track my steps as well I'm trying to be a lot more active and get up and about and just keep my body moving and I've actually been hitting my goal pretty much every day um I think my goal is like 7,000 steps but I try and exceed that sometimes there just isn't the possibility um but it's not really a strict goal it's just I like to have an idea of how much I've got and like I say I like to kind of keep active with my son I'd rather be out and about rather than kind of like stuck in the house so that's just my personal preference and this has just been really cool to keep track of all of that so then another accessory that I've been loving is inside here and they are my prescription glasses for anyone who's not heard of the company Firmoo, F-I-R-M-O-O. -O. They sell glasses and sunglasses for prescription lens wearers and these are absolutely stunning. I adore these glasses. They just look so gorgeous. They definitely look like Ray-Ban style and they're prescription. I honestly, like, I have a massive issue with contact lenses at the moment. I used to wear contact lenses every single day. However, probably within the last year or so. Um, contact lenses have just really irritated my eyes and I also feel like my vision isn't as good even though they're my prescription. Um, I kind of feel like a little bit disorientated when I wear them. I'm not sure if that's like a normal thing. Let me know in the comments if any of you have kind of felt that way before but I've just kind of stuck to wearing my glasses and then I'll take my glasses off to film. And then on the rare occasion that I need to wear contacts, I obviously will like if I go swimming or something like that. But for the longest time, I haven't been able to wear sunglasses because I haven't wanted to wear contact lenses. And so I found Firmu and I got these and I'm just so, so happy with them because they are so beautiful and I can also see, which is such an amazing thing for me. Also, when you put them on, I don't like sunglasses where you kind of like feel like somebody's turned out the lights and you can't see very well. These are very light, but your eyes feel super, super protected. So they are definitely worth checking out. 
I will also show you my regular glasses that I do wear on a day-to-day -day basis. So these are the ones that I wear day-to-day. -day. They've just got this really beautiful thin gold frame and I absolutely adore wearing these. These again are from Fermu and they just look like this. They're really dirty because my son um, grabbed them just before I started filming but I just think they're the perfect size for my face shape and I really love them. I don't wear them for filming because I'm worried that you'll kind of like see the lights bouncing off of them but um, I'm not really sure if you can. Maybe I'll film wearing my glasses next time. Let me know in the comments down below, should I wear my glasses next time I film or should I keep them off? Like is it too distracting? Can you see the lights reflecting? I'd love to know because at the moment I can't really see that they're reflecting too much light but I'll probably know when I go back and edit. So yeah, these have just been amazing and they're really comfortable to wear and they've got so many different styles of glasses and they're super, super affordable as well. Much better than somewhere like Specsavers because that's where I used to get my glasses from. What I've actually found is I could get about three pairs of Fermu glasses for the price of one pair of Specsavers glasses. I just think Specsavers are an absolute rip-off. So next I'll move on to a jewellery favourite. These are some new earrings that I actually got from eBay. And these are gold-plated sterling silver. Kind of like huggy hoops. They're a little bit bigger than a huggy. So many places like Majuri, Misoma, places like that, Monica Vinida, sell earrings just like this for so much more money and I'm here to tell you check out eBay eBay has some amazing pieces of jewelry and they're really good quality as well I've not noticed any itchiness on my ears they've not tarnished at all um, they've not turned my skin green they've just not affected me in any way they're really comfortable to sleep in they're not too big and I just think they're really cute as well so like I say if you haven't checked out eBay, I would definitely suggest heading on over there before you part with a ridiculous amount of money for probably the exact same thing because if you've looked on some of these websites, what you'll see is the material is the exact same. So it's gold plated sterling silver or it's gold vermeil or whatever you, whatever you call it. I'm not really sure what that word is, but basically the, you can get such good quality earrings if you just do a little bit of hunting and then save so much money. So these I've been absolutely loving because I love a bargain. Another accessory that I've been loving recently is this card holder. The reason why I wanted to mention this is because this is probably the longest that I've actually kept a card holder or a purse in circulation. I usually interchange them very regularly and this one has really stuck it um, out probably the longest in a really long time. So yeah, I just wanted to give it a shout out. So this is by Kurt Geiger London and it's just in this frock print faux leather. And it's just so stunning. The details of it are gold, so the writing on the front and the two zips. And it just opens up like that. I've got my son there. I think that's one of the reasons why I love it so much is because every time I go to pay for something, I see his smiling face, even though he's probably on my hip at the time because we are literally together almost 24 seven. And I've just been really enjoying it. It's super spacious and there's just places for all of my bits and bobs to go. I'm also still really enjoying using this and I don't really see me swapping this out anytime soon so this has to be mentioned in my favourites. Then another accessory but it is a phone accessory is my new phone case. I think this is absolutely stunning and it just looks like this and the reason why I love it is because it's got the attached like ring holder but um, it just makes my life so much easier having this so that I can hold it because it is a big phone so it's quite hard to hold. So this is really, really handy to have and I absolutely love the colour of it. I think that it's so pretty with the really dark green and the rose gold combination. I think it's a really pretty looking phone case and I picked this up from eBay and I think this was around five or six pounds. Next, I'm going to move on to a pair of shoes. I've been absolutely loving these now that the weather's turned a little bit warmer. These are kind of like a great transition shoe because your foot is covered. You've not got any toes peeping out just yet. So, so it's not technically a sandal, but it's enough to keep your foot covered and warm, but also nice and aerated on like hotter days like it has been the last week or so. These have been coming in super, super handy. And I just think that they're really stunning as well. They look really luxurious and expensive with the gold details here. I also love this oatmeal color that they come in and I can't remember where I got these from. I'm pretty sure I got these from Shein but quite some time ago, maybe like a couple of years ago. So I'm not sure whether or not they are still available but I have seen on the website that they have a bunch that are very, very similar to this 
for a really good price so definitely suggest snagging yourself some and I have mine in a size 39. Another accessory that I wanted to mention is the bag that I featured in my recent what's in my bag video. If you haven't seen that video then I will leave it linked in the description box below so you can go ahead and watch that. But it's this gorgeous DKNY handbag. I just wanted to mention it because I have been absolutely loving wearing this and so it needed to be mentioned. It's just too beautiful not to and I just needed an excuse to basically break it out again and just show someone other than my son my lovely handbag. So yes here it is in all its glory and funnily enough actually i was in tk maxx today and i found a very very similar bag to this which was a tiny bit smaller and the handles were a little bit different um they were kind of like a little bit thinner but the exact same style bag just on a smaller scale with different handles and it was only 19.99 and I'm not kidding, I nearly bought it and then I thought, why would you buy it? You've got the exact same bag, just bigger at home. But it nearly suckered me in and that's how beautiful I find this bag, the fact that I was going to buy it a second time, just like a different version of it. That's just so silly of me, but I obviously did not buy the bag. I kind of like had a reality check with myself and snapped myself out of it and I didn't buy the bag. But it was tempting so if you do have a TK Maxx near you I would definitely suggest going and browsing their bag section because whoo, they have got some amazing pieces in there. Another favourite that I wanted to show you as well is something that I picked up from Amazon within the last month and it is this really beautiful top. This is by Grace Karen and I just feel really flirty and very feminine in this top even though it's just a black top but I think the silhouette of it just makes it look really gorgeous and I love the way that it kind of accentuates my chest area and I also love the balloon sleeves so I'll stand up a little bit so that you can see the shape of it kind of like hugs my curve a little bit so it kind of like accentuates the chest area and then as you can see here it's got these really nice balloon sleeves and I just think that it's really pretty and like I say I've been absolutely loving wearing this I tried to find any excuse to wear this top because I do find it is quite a dressy top not too dressy but it's a little bit more dressy than you know just nip into the shops really quickly to get a loaf of bread so I've been really enjoying wearing this top and probably will for quite some time and then the last fashion favourite that I wanted to include in this video is just these absolutely amazing slippers. Very much inspired by the Ugg slippers, but these were from Amazon. I absolutely have been loving these, but I did say that I wasn't going to wear them. I did cave. They are just so, so comfortable, so warm, and I absolutely love the fact that they have the hard sole. I don't plan on wearing these as outdoor slippers, but I do think these would be great for, you know, having by the front door if you need to, like, pop the bins out or something like that. Because of that, they'll obviously keep your feet nice and protected and dry. But these are just going to be house slippers for me. And I just think they're so, so pretty. And they honestly look so luxurious for a very affordable price. So now I'm going to move into some home and miscellaneous items. So the first thing that I wanted to show you is this weekly organiser. I absolutely love this. And I definitely need something like this in my life to kind of keep me on track with things. I don't know if baby brain ever goes away or I don't know if it's like a mum thing. Any other mums that watch my videos let me know because I think maybe as mums, not saying that dads don't have this either, but mums kind of have like 50,000 thoughts and worries constantly bouncing around in their head like has my child eaten enough? Have they had enough vitamins? Have they had enough sunlight? Have they had enough stimulation? Um, you know, is he hitting his milestones for like people that have younger children, things like that, you know, are they happy? Um, does he need a nappy change? When was his last nappy change? Has he had a poo recently? Just all sorts of things like that. Worrying about things for yourself and your partner as well, like what to make for lunch and dinner and oh, I really should do housework and I need to check in with this friend, need to make sure my sister's okay, I haven't spoken to her in a few days. Anyway, it goes on and on. And so, <laughs> obviously chucking in filming YouTube videos and things like that, food shopping and bits and bobs. It's really nice to get your plans onto paper and also when you're in a relationship as well it's nice to kind of know my partner's plans so that I can kind of schedule in family time. My partner plays football um, and he also has plans of his own with his friends and stuff like that 
and so it's just nice to have what he's doing and what he's working as well so that I can kind of work around him because we actually do share a car as well so sometimes it's nice to kind of look on here and be like oh okay like I know that I can have the car on Wednesday afternoon um and so I can like plan something in with a friend or something like that so you basically just have your week laid out like this and they're completely blank on every page there's no dates or months or anything like that so I like that fact you've got your Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and then here you've got your need to buy bills to pay and then just notes and I just think that this is amazing to just get your life organized and I do find I'm a lot less stressed when I've pre-planned things it just goes a lot smoother and you don't have that like last minute like oh my god I forgot to do this or like if I've got someone's birthday coming up it just goes on here I remember in advance to get a card present flowers whatever I need to get and it just yeah takes a lot of stress out of life so if you don't do something like this I definitely would suggest that you maybe give it a go because it definitely helps me have a much more clear mind. Then I don't know if this next item makes me just like a massive nerd or if it just means that I'm getting older. But this, I cannot tell you how much joy this bought me. Now, I've had one of those sellotape dispensers that you just pop on your finger, kind of like a ring that you pop on your finger and you can do it like that. But this is just something else i got it from amazon and it is just such a good sellotape dispenser so it's really heavy duty super super heavy actually very weighted and then obviously you just pop your sellotape in and this just makes my life so much easier where i do order quite a lot of stuff online i do obviously have times where i need to return things and this just makes life a lot easier when i'm having to repackage a parcel or if i've got a birthday present to wrap this is just really come in handy and i also love the fact that i got it in white i got this like i said from amazon and you can get it in black or pink but i went for the white i just think this was more aesthetically pleasing to me so this is yeah one of my new favorite items Speaking of Amazon, I actually picked up some amazing drinking glasses from them recently and it comes in a pack of four. I've only unpacked one and I only use one for me at the moment because I don't want to unpack the others until we move but I will unpack one for the purpose of the video just to show you a nice clean one. So this is what they look like and I just think that they are absolutely stunning. I love having my smoothies in these or like an iced coffee with a glass straw. I just think that they're really aesthetically pleasing. I love the fact that they kind of like taper in at the top and I think these are advertised as like a beer glass but obviously I've just used it for water, lemonade, smoothies, iced coffee and it works really well and it just holds the perfect amount as well. Yeah, I've been really enjoying these. So then I thought I would finish out the video just by saying one of the shows that I've been loving watching recently. Just in case there's any avid cake or baking show lovers out there as well. So it is a little bit gimmicky and it is extremely cheesy but sometimes I just think that that's right up my street and it's a show called Is It Cake and it's basically where there are these amazing cake artists that come in and they have to compete. There's a huge group of them but only three compete at a time. They basically have to pick from an array of items what they want to replicate in cake. There are three judges so the three judges basically have to guess which item is cake so they'll have the cake that the cake artist has made and say they decided to make a shoe design so they'll have a cake that looks like a shoe but then they'll also have I think maybe like five decoy things so they'll have five real shoes and then the judges they're set quite far back away from the cake itself and the lighting's kind of like a little bit funny as well so it doesn't really give it away too much and then they have to decide which one is the real cake the judges basically have a certain amount of time to pick which number podium the real cake is on once they lock in their guess the host will then cut that if they are right and it is cake then the person that made the cake is disqualified if they win i think they win like money i'm not really sure i've only watched a few episodes so i don't really know all the ins and outs of it at, as of yet but it is really entertaining to watch so if you haven't watched it i definitely suggest so like i say it is called is it cake and it's just a really fun watch so that is everything for today's video if you did like it then please do give it a thumbs up please do consider hitting subscribe if you're not subscribed already it is free so go ahead and hit that subscribe button it's just down there i hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are and i hope to see you in my next video bye
I've been thinking about crossing the line and just giving